Hello, I'm Jamie, and today we've got 10 tips and tricks to get you off to the right start in Nia Automata. Autom Automata? Automata? Automata. Anyone? Tip number one. You're going to have to master a number of different gameplay modes in Nia Automata, but don't worry, the game manages to stay true to the control scheme throughout, so all you'll really need to pay attention to is where the enemies are coming from. Tip two. It's becoming increasingly popular in video games to have a stamina gauge to limit the player's ability to fight and defend, but Android 2B doesn't have that problem. In Neo Automata, you can fight until you, or preferably your enemies, drop. That's not limited to your standard attack either. While your heavy attack may take longer to wind up, you can still use it as much as you'd like, and don't be afraid to jump, dash and dodge while you're at it. Tip 3. Pressing the dash button, that's circle on PS4, will give Tubi a swift boost to her forward momentum, but if you hold the button down after the dash, she'll continue to sprint forwards. As there's no stamina gauge, Tubi can sprint indefinitely, but she will stop sprinting if you jump, attack, or collide with an obstacle. Tip 4. Perfect timing on your dodge can result in an opening for Tubi to counter with a swift attack. Later on you'll have the opportunity to use different counters too, but when coupled with the fact that you can dodge to your heart's content in Nier Automata, there's no reason for you not to be able to pull off the perfect dodge counter time after time. Just don't forget to attack once you've evaded the hit. Tip 5. It absolutely behooves you to get out there and explore the open world in Nier Automata. You'll almost always be rewarded for your investigations with new items, weapons and plug-in chips. Not only that, but getting to experience more of Nier Automata's world is often reward enough. Tip 6. Nier Automata does not save automatically. Dotted around the world you'll find little terminals. These are generally guarded by a small mob of machines. Take those out and you'll have access to new map data and the ability to save your progress. Certain other save areas will also allow you to save, but whatever you do, make sure you make the most of those save zones before heading out into the wilderness. Tip 7. Plug-in chips are the key to making the most out of 2B. This new system of developing your character really makes the most of the fact that 2B is an android, in that you can expand her memory so she can hold more of these amazing chips. Plug-in chips themselves can affect your prowess in combat, your resistance and even your speed. There are also chips that affect your HUD. Tip 8. As 2B's available chip slots are limited, especially at the beginning of the game, and additional slots swiftly ramp up in price, you'll need to ensure that you're making the most out of your plug-in chips by removing any chips that you don't need to make space for the ones that you do. Tip 9. At any point in the game, you're free to change the difficulty. If you're finding things a bit of a slog, drop it down too easy until you feel they're getting the hang of it. If you're up for more of a challenge, run things up to hard mode. Just don't forget, you can always change it up or down again a bit later if you like. Tip 10. When the credits roll, you may think that you're all done, but this being a game in the Dragon Guard series, that's simply not the case. Get ready to head right back out there for far more story and adventure. Have you got your own tips, tricks or advice for Nier Automata? Don't hesitate to let us know in the comments. Also don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on those notifications to keep up to date with all the gaming news and reviews with GameSpew. I've been Jamie, thank you for watching.